Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wooden Metal Shop. Well, earlier in the week I made these pen blanks in the do-it-yourself silicone molds. And that's a video that I made in the previous week. And I uh, just wanted to give you an update and what I'm doing with them today. Um, the red one came out perfect. Um, came out of the mold perfect, like no problems. The coffee bean one came out really tacky and sticky, and I don't know why. Um, I used the same mix of resin for both. Like, I made enough resin to do both of this plus more. And the coffee bean one turned a little... It was really tacky and sticky. I don't know if it's the coffee beans that caused that problem or not. So. That's the only other factor I think that is different in this. Anyways, I let them set and cure for a couple of days and the coffee bean one is still ever so slightly tacky. The red one is perfect. So this is the one that I'm going to use today and I'm actually going to make a pen kit with it today. So before we get on to that, now's a good time for you to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for when I do another video. And also my social media links are posted below and my Patreon link is posted below. And also if you want to send me a sticker for the sticker swap that I'm doing, just leave me a comment or a question below or send me an email and I will tell you how to send me a sticker. So let's get on to making a pen. The pen kit that I chose to go with this blank is a Mayan pen kit in antique copper. The number one tip that I can give for someone who's just starting out to turn pens is when you get your pen kit, make sure you have all your parts put together before you try and make it. Because there's nothing worse than finding out you have the wrong mandrel size for the pen kit, you have the wrong bushings, or you don't have the right drill bit for, for drilling out the blank. When you get your pen kit, go through all the parts and the instructions because the instructions tell you a lot. It tells you the proper bushings that you need to have and the proper bit that you need. And also when you're going through your pen kit, make sure all the parts are there according to the list that is provided with the instructions. This kit comes with two brass barrels that are the same size, but it doesn't really matter which one goes where. But there is a certain order to the bushings. So all you want to do is lay it on here with a little bit of extra room. Put a mark. Draw a line like this. Set your other barrel on and draw another mark with some extra room. I had an issue with the blade on my bandsaw and the blank actually snapped. But fortunately enough, I did give myself enough room so I can work around that. So the other part of it, all I've done is I'm going to cut it on the bench and I just put a block on the bench so that I have something to rest it on and I'm going to use my Japanese saw. I prefer to use a fast setting epoxy to glue the brass tubes in. Now these ones are already textured so you don't have to scuff them up. 
and always apply the epoxy or the glue to the brass, not to the blank. The glue is set on the blanks and now I'm just going to use the appropriate size sleeve to fit inside here. And you want to make sure there's no glue inside the tube. I just use the barrel trimmer and trim this off. And the vise is just easier for me to use. I can put it on the lathe or I can put it on a drill press or something like that. You can hold it however you like. Um, also, this is just held in loosely. You don't want to have the vise too tight, otherwise, obviously, you will crack the blank. Alright, here goes nothing. I've got this mounted on the lathe. I've got my half inch bowl gouge that I'm going to use. And I'm probably going to turn this at over 2000 RPM. You want to turn it faster. If you turn slower, you'll probably chip the blank. turning really good. It's kind of coming off like cotton candy. You can start to see some of the color coming through there, that pearl. Pretty close. There's still a little bit of a, a ridge here on both ends. I'm going to take this down just a little bit more and taper it down. And then I'm going to take the skew chisel and just scrape it to refine it. with that. That is just about perfect. I like to have just a little bit of a lip on each side because when I start sanding you're actually going to take that off. Alright, so I think that's going to look really nice. I'm going to start sanding this and I'm going to start using from 400 grit 
all the way up to 12,000 grit with the micro mesh pads. And you want to take your time sanding when you're starting to get into the finer and finer pads and always sand wet. And I'm going to start this off at a lower speed and when I get up to the 12,000 grit I'm going to raise the speed just a little bit. I stopped this about halfway through because I wanted to see what it looked like and that is looking really nice. I'm actually quite impressed with that. Alright, on we go. Now I am impressed with that. I really like that. Like, look at that. I got a little carried away with the sanding, but that's good because it is polished up very nice. All right, I think I can put it all together. Okay, well, I'm quite impressed the way that blank turned out. So now on to assembling. So we're going to start with the tip on the lower end. And I like to stick a block in on the tip so you don't wreck the tip. I'm going to slide the coupler into the recessed end of the band. And then press this into the opposite end of the lower barrel. Now I left this end on so I know it's the fatter end, so I get it right. Then it's a matter of putting the mechanism on, making sure it works. And there it is. I'm very happy the way that turned out. That turned out a lot better than I expected. The pearl in there is just amazing how it turned out. And even the color is a little bit different than what I expected. It was a lot more red when I mixed it. I guess mixing in that pearl white just kind of uh, muted it down, but I'm quite impressed in how it looks. So I will post pictures at the end of the video on some close-ups. I don't know if you can see that right there. I just love the way that just kind of swirls in there and everything. So uh, yeah, I um, spent a little extra time in the micro mesh pads in sanding it. Because once you get up to about um, 3600 and beyond, up to 12,000 grit, you can really hear a difference in how the um, micro mesh pads are rubbing against this it's almost silent like from 3600 down to the 400 grit you hear that um, biting biting the acrylic and actually sanding when you get from a 3600 and up it starts polishing so that's why I took extra time in doing that 
and there was some tool marks or something like right on this area here and they're completely gone and there's no sanding marks or anything on it as well so spend a little extra time in polishing and it's well worth it in the end so like I said I'm very impressed with it I will also have this posted on my Etsy store so if you're interested in it I'll have it up there and um, oh the coffee bean one when I recorded the first part of the video uh, that was yesterday and so it's now a day later on this and it is completely dry so I'm ready to start turning this one and make a pen out of it so look forward to that in another video so I hope you liked this video and if you did give me a thumbs up and if not well oh well uh, also hit that subscribe button ring the notification bell for when I do another video and also leave me some comments or questions uh, post them down below and I always answer and also my patreon link is listed down below I will be doing exclusive videos there too so um, social media links are posted down below as well so if you want to follow me they're all listed there so until the next time take care